Hey guys, James Cathy here for Netbook News. Here I have an Asus ePad Transformer Prime running Android Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, so here's a new game. It's called Max Payne. It's the Tegra 3 version of Max Payne. Um, let's see, I've already begun playing the game, so let's just go ahead and hit resume because it's full of a bunch of like cartoon animations and it takes quite some time to, to actually get started in the game. So let's just give you like a one through of what it's like to run around. Um, over here on the left we have this joystick control and on the right it's the same. I'm sure the controls are adjustable in the settings menu. Um, the one thing that I was kind of disappointed about with this game is everything is kind of square. The cars are square. Um, every graphic, all the graphics kind of feel like they're square and edgy. And I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but for Tiger 3, I feel like this game is, it's lacking what, uh, what, could, actually, what could actually be used in, in this game. Um, this is my gun. Looks like I can't shoot in the subway. There's bullet time where you slow things down. This is kind of like a dive and a jump if you're going forward. Let's just kind of move around here. Maybe we'll find someone to shoot. And it's always full of these things, these little short videos. And it kind of irritates me. Just I'd like to just play instead of watch. Can we turn the shower on? Oh, nice. Let's take a shower. Let's just keep going. Turning the sinks on, that's interesting. Let's flush the toilet. So that's kind of cool that everything is um, usable. You can actually, everything's openable and usable. Let's open this. I got some painkillers, it looks like. So this is what it looks like when I shoot. Let's shoot the wall. Kind of cool, we get bullet holes and whatnot. Um, we're gonna run around, oh look, here's some bad guys right here. Let's do slow motion. So it's kind of neat, but see how everything is square? His head is like all edged off, rounded off. Not a very big fan of that look, but you know, what can I do? It's very easy to kill people, running around, picking up ammo. So yeah, this is, the, this is kind of your little short demo out of the subway here for Max Payne. Those are kind of neat. Those little slow-mo, you shot them, they get to fly backwards and hit some walls and whatnot. Um, so let's pause it here and check out the, the menu screen. Uh, as you can see, there are cheats. Max Payne 3. This also might be a new one there. Uh, so there's a Zoom game, there's a tutorial, new game, adjust touch controls. Let's see what else kind of touch controls. Oh, and we can just simply move everything wherever we want on the screen just by tapping to edit. Let's go back, load, save, options, let's take a look at some of the options, controls, game, video, language, audio, back, let's see some of the game options, enable auto aiming, auto weapon change, gameplay tips, and bullet time aid. So those are some pretty neat little uh, adjustable settings there. Um, so yeah, uh, this is, oh, if you look up here, share to Facebook, Twitter, or your Rockstar Social Club. You have to have a Rockstar Social Club to play this game. Um, I actually did not have one, so I had to make one. Um, but that's okay, because I'm sure I'll use it in the future. Uh, so yeah. Side note, it is actually $3 on the NVIDIA Tegra Zone gaming app, on the gaming marketplace app here. Um, and if you do plan on buying it and downloading it, give yourself some time. It took me about 86 minutes, about almost nearly two hours to download the game and play. So just a heads up. So yeah, here's Max Payne Mobile. Uh, thanks for watching me play. This has been James Cathy for Netbook News.